Hello students, I'm Paul Vertigto. In today's class, we are going to see Introduction to Multimedia and Desktop Publishing. Let's start. What is Multimedia? Before knowing about Multimedia, we should know what a medium is. Medium is something like a channel which people use to transmit information from one person to another person. In the first example, here we can see a father talking to his son. Here father is using his voice to transfer information to his son. Voice audio could be used as a medium. All the messages that we send, all the books that we read is a type of transferring information through text. So information could be transferred even using text. In the third example here you can see a beautiful greeting card. Here in this greeting card information is being conveyed through drawings and text. This kind of medium is called as graphics. And the fourth type of medium is animation. All the cartoons that you watch, all the video games that you play is a type of animation. And the fifth type of medium is the most familiar type of medium that is video. So here comes the answer for multimedia. When you have all these five components audio, text, graphics, animation and video in a single platform then it is called as multimedia. Definition of multimedia. Multimedia allows the user to combine image, text, graphics, audio and video to a single platform. Now let's see what desktop publishing is. Every book that you read Every brochure that you get, every magazine that you buy is designed and printed using a page layout software. If you use your personal computer to design and create a document which could be printed, then it is called desktop publishing. Definition Desktop publishing is the process of using page layout software to design and create documents which could be printed. So that's it children, now you know what is multimedia and what is desktop publishing. And now you may be wondering, why is that we learn multimedia and desktop publishing in our class 12? If that's your question, these are the answers. Here we have two valid reasons. One is, multimedia is used in most of the fields nowadays. Like in business it is used for marketing, advertising, product demos and in home we use it for gardening, cooking and all those things could be learned through multimedia and as a society we use it in museums library for all security purposes and in even in education field multimedia is being used nowadays and the second reason why you read multimedia is in your upcoming lessons you'll be studying about internet which is a collection of different formats of data every website that you see in internet is a collection of only these five elements of multimedia graphic text animation audio and video so in order to learn about internet, you should be knowing the basics of all these elements. And that's all for today's class. Thank you.